I, I'm also coming from limited understanding. So uh, <laughs> thanks for attending. I'm Hey, uh, I'm a, a senior research associate at War Resources Institute, and I'm also a student at uh, Georgia Tech. So uh, this is, I guess this will probably fit somewhere in the like hobbyist part of using OSM. Uh, so uh, yeah, well, let's see. So we have like uh, internally, we have uh, questions that like one of the researcher asked, uh, uh, essentially is how many highway, uh, highway uh, roads are like, what is the length of highways in any cities in the United States? So that was a question that one of the researcher wanted to ask uh, Adam Davison's. And then can, would you be able to do that in any uh, geography just by sim simple query? Uh, so the aim is like, to do to comparison. So we have a lot of information about the demand side, which is like the ridership information informations. I'm coming from transportation background. Uh, so uh, so we, can we do some uh, like uh, bookkeeping so supply of transportation? Uh, and then we try to see if there are already existing data and then uh, so we want to use open sources tools as much as we can. Uh, so that's where we are. Uh, so, and then that's how we landed in this OSM. Um, I'm still very new to OSM. Uh, so there are, try to, we, we try to look at different uh, available data sets across the world because it's, we are a global organizations and this seems to be one, even though the data quality varies in different places that uh, we might be able to use a lot of data uh, uh, initially. So I'm coming from the end of uh, the user perspective uh, and then not knowing much about OpenStreetMap yet. So I'm here to learn to. Uh, so uh, this is from Janning uh, talks uh, from my YouTube. I don't, I don't think that's from the state of the map, but uh, he presented that I just screen shop it, shop it. Uh, so, uh, so as you all know, the, the data quality varies in terms of where uh, Depending on the map was, and this is according to one of the paper that he presented uh, in one of the events. Uh, so the journey, as I said, it's going to be about journey. We started with like earlier prototype in Google Colab because the other person is an urban plan planner. He has a questions and I know a little bit about how to play around with this. So we started with uh, oh, Google, Google Colab allows you to like collaborate and then give him things that he want to do an easy way that uh, that do not require a lot of coding. And uh, we started looking more of a OSM and X, which Professor Jeff Bowen, uh, Jeff Bowen has done a lot of uh, open source tubes uh, in, in order to clean up the existing uh, open stream map data and then connecting to the network X. Uh, so you might, some of you might be familiar with all of these. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, this, this is some of the things that you can do. Can anybody guess which, where this is? So I'm, I hope people are not falling asleep. <laughs> uh, it says Uganda, it's in Kampala. Uh, so that's, uh, this. I guess this one takes about, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes on your, on my very small laptops. Uh, and then there's a line of code up there. Uh, and then uh, th these are also in East Africa. Uh, anybody, any, yes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, I, one of them is a uh, Rwanda or Kigali. Uh, I think that's what it's. And then this one is uh, uh, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. So, so uh, each uh, those are some of the things that you can do with the OSMNX, which is uh, thanks, Professor Jeff uh, Bowen, for that. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, I think the issue, uh, then we do other things like uh, trying to build on this and then see what kind of data we can extract from OpenStreetMap. And this is a, like a classical comparison at this point, at least in urban planning, where you're comparing Houston and Vienna and then see uh, like the same radius. So you're comparing the two radius and then see uh, what are the routes of highways in that particular radius compared to Vienna. So. Uh, Houston, the way, uh, because the cities are planned, you have like a lot of more highways uh, compared to Vienna as uh, like 2.7 meter, 2.72 meters of a highway per person as opposed to Vienna, if you just compare. Uh, this is, this could be a communication to to show urban planner 
how you plan your cities matters. And this effect, yeah. Uh, then we started doing that and then there are more things that uh, we play around looking, try to see different cities. Uh, again, selecting uh, radius of the same, I think it's 50 kilometer. Uh, and Adam did that and uh, how do you compare for all the different city center where um, in terms of like population density, which area might have a more highway or all or, or, or sorts of different types of roads. Uh, and it's interesting to see this pattern, which is also a classic curve in a lot of urban planning literature. Uh, and then the next step that we uh, were trying to do was we wanted to make it faster. So OSMNX was good and then probably very accurate because they essentially clean up all these networks and uh, rebuilt the entire networks. Uh, so in order to make it faster, uh, last year I was here uh, in Tucson and then I heard the talk from Janine who talk about this uh, daylight. So it's, it's essentially they clean up the, 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 the Oak Street Map data set and then put it in the AWS uh, Athena uh, so you can query it much faster that if you use a, a open uh, AWS, uh, it takes uh, from 30 minutes to, I guess, a few seconds of query if, if you just want the basic summaries of different streets. Um, this is uh, the final pipeline for this uh, thing that I'm going to show you. So at the back end, we have a little bit of OSMNX to look at the query boundary, and then it's query information from uh, that's the read back that's put in, in the day daylight. Uh, uh, yeah, in the front end, we put it, you just use stream uh, The codes are in that Git GitHub li uh, list. Uh, yeah, most of them are free, I guess. <laughs> the only part that's a bit, uh, uh, you pay is this, uh, the oh, the query data, a few cents by, by, by the amount of data that you scan. Uh, so the, that this is how we use the tag in OpenStreetMap. Uh, so we define into, this could be refined, but we define into three different um, category, auto dominant street, the street, if you have all these different tags, prior, uh, then we would consider that's a auto dominant streets and then livable streets. Uh, if you have protected cycling infrastructure, bus rate, et cetera, then we would consider as a livable feature and then cycle roads, any de de designated cycle paths. Uh, so this is the rough category that can be further refined. So uh, imagine like a street and then all of those can coexist together. You can have five, which you have auto dominance. Uh, yeah, so this is this is the, the, the categorization we did, which can be rather refined. Uh, and then uh, are we, ah, sorry. No. <laughs> so wait, uh, so uh, if you go to this link, uh, this is where the two is, which is a prototype. Uh, you can uh, play around with that. Uh, and I'm going to quickly show some of the results. Uh, we're comparing Washington, D.C., Amsterdam, and Bogota. Uh, or, or you can do it at the, the, the like a borough level in, in New York City, uh, or uh, comparing the entire Germany with California, about maybe about the same size, maybe. So that's some of the things you can do. Uh, Again, this is a beta version. It's a very prototype. We need to compare the results from OSMNX, which it's to me is the gold standards in terms of the accuracy, uh, and with daylight and other uh, manual download from OSM. So you can do what I'm going to show the same thing in GIS. Maybe it would take longer if you have to, like uh, uh it's uh, the the app is not very good on the phone. Oh, yeah. uh, so and then we need to do a little bit more testings and to make sure that nobody is. Secure. It's like the security is fine and more caching. Uh, so let me go to the link. Uh, oh, hi. Yes. <laughs> okay, where is the link? Uh, here. here. So it's built on Streamlit. The, the, the URL, it's, I haven't even changed the URL. So the other URL, uh, bit.ly bit .street uh, supply dot tc22. So this is, yeah, this is the, the web app. This is live and uh, you can start, I don't know, give me some cities. Uh, right now we have Washington, DC. We can do uh, rich, rich, you know, DA. Uh, I don't think you need USA. Uh, so, so this is uh, just to make sure you are looking at the correct 
uh, current current boundary uh, because uh, this is uh, pulling directly from o o OSM. Uh, this is what OSM understand as uh, Washington DC or Richmond, and you can do uh, Bogota, uh, Colombia. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I mean, then, then you can move around a little bit. Uh, that's then there's some WKT that if you want to see the polygon, but that's this is this is just to check you're having the right boundary, and this is the part where you can do the counting of all the streets. Uh, I, this is a little bit of a funky interface because I don't want people to be using the computational resources too much. But you can keep anything uh, as long as uh, you don't use Dash. Uh, so right now, what it's doing is. Uh, Right now, like it's scanning the the, the daylight database uh, that's stored uh, in the AWS uh, to calculate the different uh, street lengths. Uh, so it's um, yeah. So if you you can give more cities uh, about one per line, and it should be fine. Uh, uh, but it's uh, the first one always takes some time, and then if you do again and again, it will, it should be faster. But as I said before, this is day and prototype so uh yeah any questions when this is slowly questions oh cool oops hi huh? yeah yeah it's a python library and the code because i'm using the uh the stream lit so all the codes need to be open so i think the the codes are all in github i think the only part that's not free is the aws part where you we want to run it faster, make the computation faster. So again, this is the definition what I just presented, uh, what, how we define it. And you can see the results. Uh, it took about 50 seconds to do all this scanning, the OSM data set that scan, and you can download the raw data in Washington, DC. The total street lengths uh, is about this kilometer. And then what we consider auto dominant is 590. And they might be overlapping too, because if you remember that circle in the same space, you can have a circle rows and then uh, along with the auto dominant row along the same time. So that's according to OSM at one version. Uh, this is the percentage of uh, well, auto dominant percent uh, streets, uh, which is about 14%. Richmond has a little bit higher uh, because well, what we consider uh, uh, the, the little boss, which is uh, oh, Zygo, interesting. Uh, Liverpool is, uh, yeah, uh, and then Bogota. Bogota has more bike lane. So, and then this is how we use the tech. Uh, again, this is a, I, yeah, I'm done.